Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Sure. I, it's hard, hard to believe we're you. sitting in your house. I know. <laughs> it's all your, well, yours in the bank. That's, that's what I yeah, would that's say. Right. Yeah. Right. Bank, bank owns a lot of mine yeah. still. So Fair. you did it. So I, I, I thank you, Kristen, Eric, um, you. for for doing this. I, the, one of the reasons why I was so enthused and, and wanted to talk to you guys was because, well, it wasn't all a rosy process, right? There were some ups and downs. Mm -hmm. And... Um, yeah, there seems to be ups and downs of, of, of the home buying process. And I thought that's why it would be really cool to to talk to you guys and see Super. what you guys Because I know what it looks like from my side. Yeah. Right? Sure. Like, to me, this is an easy process only because I've done it so many times and I'm jaded about it. So, <laughs> um, you know, when you don't get that first house and you're really upset, well, yeah, no, that's normal. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. But it's probably not to you guys. No. No. Um, no and then sure. the, the end result was not <laughs> No. This, yeah. was, this was a different one. This yeah. was definitely a different one. Yeah. So why did you guys buy? Why, why did you guys decide now was the right time to buy a house? What made you say, okay, let's do it? I'm just curious. What's your story? So, I mean, we, we were married in October and we knew we wanted to wait until after we were married just, you know, Planning a wedding is a daunting task. So, so you don't want to plan a wedding and buy a house no. and you want to throw it. Okay. No, so we were like one just one immediately big, after. It yeah, it's like one big life change at a time. Right. So we thought like, okay, after the holidays and the new year, but honestly, our thought process was like, let's just start the process. We wanted to find a realtor who like we trusted and we work we could work with and did we, you find him by the way still, we, yeah, we're still, still working yeah, 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 still still I just I wasn't sure <laughs> <laughs> but we honestly like anticipated maybe not finding something till spring or summer like right. we were like okay we're first time buyers we don't really know the process let's just start it in January and we were expecting to move by like summer so if the that if that so yeah. it happened well it's awesome like, you guys thing. You guys didn't have a lease where you guys were being forced out on a right. certain time. So you could actually wait for the right thing. Yeah, we were, yeah. Already, you know. we were already in a great position where, you know, we were originally renting, um, which we, you know, you get stuck in that yeah. renting cycle where you're paying too much for rent and then you can't save up yeah. anything. And so it was going to be a while. And, um, you know, her parents during the pandemic moved up to New Hampshire. They were like, our house is empty. Why don't you move in, take care of it, save some money? And so luckily we had that opportunity. Hurt so. me another way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. Where do I sign up? Yeah, um, right. Exactly. Yeah. So exactly. we, we did so, have flexibility, yeah. which was really nice. Yeah. So we were, weren't in like a huge rush, but we knew we wanted to like get the ball rolling right. a little sure. bit. Sure. Well, I mean, I, I have to imagine like that's living in something that's your parents versus, hey, you know, we just got married. We want to live in something our, that's our own, exactly. right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah we we're so. ready. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but still, thank you, Mom and Dad. Yes. yes. Oh, my yes, God. 100%. Couldn't have done it without them. Really appreciate Literally. it. Oh, yeah. Big time. Big time. So, well, that, that's awesome. So, um, so you found the house, right? But it took us a while, I think, to not a while. Actually, I, how long did it end up taking from beginning to end? Like when we first met you, beginning to closing, like yeah, two months, two, two months. months. That's, that's that's actually pretty quick. Pretty quick, yeah, yeah. Pretty quick. Okay, <laughs> um, but but you know when we started the process and um, you know I think that we you know at least just her and I we've had two. I've, I've moved around a lot in different rental places and things right. like that, so I've done a lot more moving. Um, so I've kind of seen a lot of different stuff and kind of had that expectation. Whereas I know she didn't. So when we first started looking, she's like, shit, we're never going to buy a house. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then we, you know, after looking at quite a few things and then we stumbled on this one. Right. Um, you know, fell in love with it. And it just felt like home. Yeah. Like right. I was like, I can picture our lives here. So out of curiosity, because, you know, you moved around a bunch of times, right? So from the beginning of when you guys started looking all the way until the end, right, did what do you want in the house? Like what you needed in the house, what you liked in the house? Like, was that the same from the beginning to end or did things change throughout the process for you, would you say? I feel like it was pretty consistent. Yeah. Like we were definitely flexible. Like we looked at houses that didn't like fully meet like what we had expected and we yeah. were like, okay, like, you know, we could be flexible, but this, this checked off like, I think every single one of yeah, our boxes that much. we had. So out of all the houses we looked at, which wasn't a crazy amount, but we looked at a bunch yeah. of them. What would you say was like the worst thing that you saw that was just like you walk out and be like, wow, that's just... Oh, the one oh, in Addington? Was no, Addington? Rockland. 
Was Rockland, because you had actually like it was it was a mess, and you actually said to us, and I refer back to this like we learned so much like from the process from you. Yeah. But we were looking, and we stood in the driveway, and you were like, "I'm gonna be honest with you guys, um, this isn't the house yeah. for you." <laughs> Where like, they were pumping needs, out the basement as we as we... <laughs> like the water was like coming out into the front lawn. It was like it was in Rockland. I don't remember this one. <laughs> it was, it I was, look at a couple of houses. You, you, it yeah, was so just, bad. Yeah. No, you as soon as we we pulled up, you were like. We're just going to learn from this. <laughs> like, this is going to be a learning experience. There was just so much wrong with it. And, like, like the foundation, like, I don't think the, the foundation, stuff. like, the big yeah. stuff was just not. And you were, like, for first-time home buyers, like, this just, I don't, like, think this the is going to be for you. Like, yeah. it was, it was bad. And we knew it, but we spent, we didn't leave right away. We spent time and you were, like, okay, well, like, let's look at this and look at this. This is how you can tell. Well, those are really great. Like, I mean, I, so it's, it's funny because I think about it. If I could plan the perfect buyer journey it would actually be like hey let's go to the worst dumpster fire of a house yeah. first and let's go through and point out was that the house with the really bad basement and um there's like holes in the foundation no i don't oh we it. didn't even go in the basement oh, okay that was no we house. saw the big okay. from the outside but we saw this right after right after one that we really liked but the issue was it was like it had no yard and it was like every, we loved the house it was like up on that little hill but it had the weird little house like oh, in the, the driveway one. and it was really nice stage inside. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah and so yeah. we were like oh we really like everything about the house and then, like but there's just no yard and right. then and then so we decided not against it and then we went to that one yeah. and we were like well oh. <laughs> <laughs> we just pulled up and we we're like this is a no but we're gonna learn from it yeah. and that, that I, that's the learning part right like you know one of the things that i joy joy is is like okay so Tearing apart, I'm not a home inspector, but tearing apart a house is, you know, because things look pretty and you can get really caught up in the prettiness really yeah. quickly, I mm -hmm. guess. And that house doesn't sound like it was very pretty right no. from the get go. It wasn't pretty. And I like am still a creep on like Zillow and Redfin because I like am curious like about all the houses we saw. Like, did they sell? And like that one like oh, actually sold for what it was listed for, was which it? I was like super surprised because I thought it was going to go much lower because right. it was just so bad. Yeah. But there was the other one too that um, was great uh, just to go see because on paper it checked off everything, probably even more than this one. And that was the one in Holbrook. Holbrook, yeah. And um, so we were super excited to see it. And then we pulled in, and the realtor was talking about how she had to kick the guy out earlier. <laughs> and then, like, we walked in, it just reeked of cigarette smoke and all the pictures, like, the rooms were like tiny, like, they just to, it was like, deceiving. It was very bit. deceiving. Isn't it funny how, like, you can look at a house and be like, this is it on paper. Then again, you're like, oh, that's Ooh, exactly what we did. That's on that exactly one. Yeah. what that we were yeah. so optimistic about that one. And then we walked in and we were like, oh, actually, it's like pretty cramped in here. Like, can't really see ourselves. Actually, this is a solid no. <laughs> yeah. yeah <that's> exactly. <laughs> like, glad we saw it. Glad we did. Not even a, not even a maybe, just no. Yeah, yeah, it was a solid. It was a solid. Day. So the house in Rockland was the dumpster fire of a house. Okay, great. So that, that was the beginning of the process. <laughs> So walk me through the process from beginning to where we are now, kind of what, you know, give us the story. What, what happened here? How did, how did we end up here at your table? I found this house, I think on Redfin and I had sent it to you and I was like, this one, want to look at it. We would even make like an at, like early, like evening appointment work, like just had a feeling like this was going to be. This was going to be a tough, like a high interest right. one. And, and you had said that too. You said, I have a lot of interest that I have a lot of clients who are interested in this. Yep. Oh. And so we got a showing, I think a day or two after it came on the market and we mm -hmm. walked through and we were just immediately, you asked the number, we were like eight, like we knew this was one we really liked. And, you know, you did recommend like this one's going to have a lot of interest. I think you need to think about putting in an offer if that's that's a, that's an offer number. Yep. So then we did, we put in an offer that night and we were just, we were so anxious to hear like if it got accepted. And then we started waiting in limbo for a couple days. And limbo we sucks. Oh, yeah. We weren't hearing anything. We're like, is this looking good? Like, is it not looking good? Like, and then I think we put in an offer on Wednesday and by Friday, we had heard, unfortunately, the owners of the home, it was hard to reach them. They were on business and more offers were just pouring in well over our own. So yeah. um, we, Which we were originally 10,000 over asking. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. then they were getting more over asking. 
and we would have had to up our offer and we just didn't feel like, you know, that was feasible at the time, you know, so we had to back out and yeah. It was kind of hard seeing houses afterwards because... I remember we saw the one down... Um, was it Abington? I think it was Abington. No, I think it, I think it was Weymouth. Um, there was two. There was, was Abington and, and Weymouth. We saw it. We liked the Abington. We almost put an offer yeah. in. It was a cute house. It, was, it yeah. had a lot of yard. Like, yeah. You know, I, I, I drove away from that thinking like, oh, like they're going to put an offer in on oh, 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 I know what we're going to do. The bit, the really nice yeah, one. Yeah. Yeah. And... We actually like got in touch um, with your contact of loan officer to see, you know, what we could do with like any flexibility because this house was like a little bit higher, the right. Abington one. And I don't know. We just it was went, like two weeks after we had already lost. It was two yeah. weeks after we had already lost this. There was another one in Weymouth we were considering. And I don't know about you. Like, I just I, I wasn't feeling it. I was like, they're nice. But was it this one? It wasn't this one. And I remember Eric being like you have to forget about this one. Like it, it's not going to happen. Like By- Byron street is gone. And it was just really hard. Cause I was like, well now I'm feeling like if I've seen that and I know that's out there in our price range, like I don't want to settle for something that I just feel like is subpar, like right. compared to that one. So I said like, no, like this isn't our house. Like these aren't it. Then we walked away. And then I distinctly remember it was that weekend. It was like, we looked on a Saturday and it was that Sunday and I'm like in the kitchen making chili like for dinner Mm -hmm. and you called and I'm like, that's weird. Like Jeff, like what? That's just odd. Like, I wonder what he's calling about. And your first words were, I don't know who you prayed to, (laughs) but it worked. (laughs) And that's when we got the call that, um, the buyers, the offer that was accepted for this house now fell through right. and they came back and asked if we wanted this at our original offer and we accepted. She's yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she said, great. Um, and we put in another, our same offer that night and it got accepted and it happened so fast and we were in like complete and utter shock. <laughs> yeah. You know, we got a second you know, chance. Did I say to you, because I've said this more times than I can count, everything happens for a reason. Oh, when yeah. we lost this and I say everything happens for a reason just means that there's a better one out there. Yeah. yeah. But I, I meant, that, meant that this one was just going to come back to us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was... It was, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was you can see that little asterisk yeah. on the top of that one with the there? Right? It was <laughs> ironic because when we lost this one, like, we were first-time home buyers. We've been saving for a, a long time. And we were locked... We were had a rate that was presented to us that was a bit high for right. what was going That's on. That's right. Because I actually right. forgot that you guys were pre-approved with somebody. Uh, awesome. You guys... Yeah. We sat down with the pre-approved. Well, you, you guys can yeah. do yep. approval. That's right. And then you put us in touch with Sammy, and he was actually, as like first time home buyers, able to get us a little bit of a better rate, which right. gave us more buying power. And that had happened all in the same weekend. Right. So same if, day. Same day. If we had, we had we talked lost, to Sammy earlier in the day, so and we had just had, settled with the fact that we were like, all right, we got a much better rate. We can look at other things. And then we got the call that night, and we were like, So we were like, oh my God, it really did like happen for a reason. Like if we would have, if our offer would have got accepted at that time, we would have had like a much higher rate, like higher payment, but we lost it and locked it to a better rate. So it kind of did work out better that we lost it first because it worked out better for us the second time. Mm -hmm. Without the good or without the bad, you can't appreciate the good. Yeah, exactly. So we just just needed to throw a little bad into the the mix here. Just knock us down a few pegs. (laughs) So that way you can get that level of ecstatic, right? Exactly. Exactly. So So it truly did. And like any person, like our family, our friends, we tell, like everybody says that that happened for a reason. Like Mm -hmm. this was meant to be your home because it came back to you afterwards. And we just feel so fortunate and lucky especially hearing about other you know our friends or other people like buying in this market that you know we got what we actually like really wanted right and it's good so you 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 touched on the financing let's jump in there because that that's one of the biggest um biggest complaints biggest hardships that a lot of buyers have talk to me about your experience from the financing side what was that like yeah so we um like we mentioned we had 
luckily we're in a position that we were able to try and save up a lot of money. Right. Um, we were just kind of branching out and starting the process. And um, so we had reached out to um, a friend of mine that I knew that was a loan officer, kind of started us in the process, which was very great, gave us a little bit of knowledge. Um, didn't have a realtor yet or anything. And then um, I was giving you our name reached out and then we ended up going having that first uh, initial home buyer meeting with you which um between that and what we had started to learn about um the rates and what we had right away um that was huge because then it put into really perspective of like all right this is our rate that we're being you know that we have right now um with that here's all the detailed information of what we can actually afford, what we're actually looking at, what's what does the the market look like right now? Um, because obviously, just getting started, we had no idea. We just hear all the nightmare stories, and <laughs> uh, and you know, we're like, okay, let's just get it. Let's <laughs> hop on the band aid. Let's so go. Real. Let's hop into this nightmare. <laughs> like, so, um, um, so doing all that, um, you know, really kind of put all the financial piece of what realistically, you know, this is what we have. These are the funds that we have now. What can we do with them and right. write, and what should we be looking for? Right. You can say that you, you know, want to afford X, Y, and Z, but it's the bank that tells you actually how yeah. much can you afford. Right. <laughs> you know, it's right. there's there's not really it's, not, it's either black or white. There's no gray area on that one. Right. Know? So well, that's awesome. So the whole process, what actually surprised you guys the most as you were, you know, going throughout the buying process? What would you say surprised you the most? I think, and this is probably like not maybe a favorable answer to most people, but what I, I honestly felt like the process of like, I, I was expecting like, you know, getting the loan and everything was going to be like just a lot. Like it, right. it was going to be like, I mean, it, it was overwhelming at times, but like, I truly feel like the team we had made it probably as seamless as it could go. Mm-hmm. And looking back at it, I was like, wow, that actually like, wasn't as bad as I had anticipated at least. So like, I was super surprised at kind of how quickly and seamless that went. Like, I I don't know, I guess I was just expecting it to be more daunting and complicated. Mm -hmm. I can promise you can go a lot worse. (laughs) And it it wasn't. So I was like really surprised about that aspect of it too. I mean, like it was a lot and we were learning along the way, but I think the team we had just was so helpful and it, it really made it, just a, like a quicker, faster, seamless process than I. I was really yeah. surprised. That, that was your surprising honestly. moment that somebody giving you a lot of money was relatively yeah, yeah like super fat, like quickly. They're just like, "Wow, your loan was approved in seven days." I was going to say it was like, seven days. Yeah, that was a record. I was like, "Really?" <laughs> Like, I, got, I got that. Are e- you sure? They sent me that email. Like, oh, it's just like, because for guaranteed rate, it's it's a little bit bragging, and you know, yeah. like they wanted to send it out quick. And they were like, yeah, just so you know, your 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 buyers were approved in seven days. I was like, really? Like, just like Crazy. we're talking actual approval. I called them up. I was like, Sammy, like approved, approved, or like just kind of conditionally pre-approved, or he was like, no, 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 they're approved. We're ready to go. You can close whenever. I'm like, all right. I know. Sounds I good. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Crazy. <laughs> crazy so any surprises for you uh, mine, mine was just um how quickly things were still going like you know we um you know we were in that phase of being able to save money and not put a rush on things prior to the wedding and then you know got the process started um and thinking that like in the past couple of years, how all these horror stories are, it's like, you got to come in and put an offer in right away. You're like, that had to have died. $50,000 over asking. Yeah, way, yeah, yeah, way like, over asking. It's like, no, that guy, right. everybody's got houses now. Like we should be, down. Right. it's got to be settled down now. Like we're past all that. Um, and then when we started the process to see, you know, how quickly things were still going, even in this, you know, process where we initially got outbid, like where, where like we put an offer in, like Chris was saying, like, the day, uh, you know, the day that we saw it, which was only on the market for two days. Right. And then by the end of that week, they had taken somebody else's offer way over, you know, what, what they asking for. 
was. Right. Um, yeah. So to see how fast like things were still going was was surprising. Yeah. yeah, that is true. Now that I think about it, like we really had thought things had settled down from like the COVID rush and like things were on the market for a little bit longer. Right, they had. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just just for a record, they right. had. And, right. and that's what was surprising me too is that yeah. you, you kept saying like, yeah, they, this is actually pretty Tame. good. <laughs> we were like, <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So that is true too. Like I think this house got five offers you had said yeah um it came on the market on like a monday and it had an offer accepted by friday right. like it was it was fast and i was just kind of like whoo that and i think if they'd gone in the weekend they probably could have gotten more but yeah because they canceled the yeah. open house they yeah. didn't even yeah. have an open house so yeah. yeah that's true that was surprising yeah. and that's that's the aspect of because i remember us having a conversation like if you see that perfect one i know we can't generally do evening showings but you see that perfect one and they're gonna let us in there you gotta strike while that iron's mm-hmm. hot and this is a good example of that is yeah. to, you know, sometimes they will accept that offer just to get it done with yeah right mm-hmm. yeah so you guys first time home buyers you can kind of check that off your list of things to do yeah. right like you're done congratulations yeah. you. you know at this point you're you're warning you're a warning shoe yeah <laughs> um what advice would you guys give for first time home buyers out there that are looking to start the process and get going? I would really say like find yourself a good team because that's the people that you want to trust and who you're taking this, you know, professional advice from. Like right. we knew when we had that first meeting with you in your office just to kind of go over like what we wanted and like, you know, first time home buyer meeting, we walked away feeling like this is somebody who we feel like we can really work with. Like, you know, he puts a lot of effort in. And I mean, we were out showings the first weekend. I think we met with you on a Wednesday. We had showings on a Saturday, on a, that next Saturday. And um, and just also like all the contacts you put us in, in touch with. Like we got our attorney, like from your contact, our inspector, like having that team and like really trusting that team, I think was really helpful mm-hmm. because obviously we don't know what we're doing right. and we've never done this before. So finding that good team, I feel like really was helpful. And t- definitely when anxieties were high, it was yeah. helpful too, to know like, okay, well, I trust these people. Anxieties, this is an anxious process. Like oh, this is, this is a high just stress. A little bit. Just a little bit. Just okay. a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> just a little one. Okay. Yeah. A little bit of stress. Um, and I, and I would say obviously that, but then um, look at a bunch of stuff, like, cause being able to, um, see, you know, even though in a, in a short compared to, to some other people's stories, we saw a relatively low amount, but I'd say we, I mean, from the start of the meeting with you to the, when we found this, we were looking at two to three a weekend, yeah. which was, which was great because we were able to see a, a whole bunch of different stuff. And like, like I said, I had, you know, different expectations than she had just because of my bouncing around, you know, in, in my past history of moving around. Um, but it was great for the both of us to come be able to see of like, all right, this is what the spectrum of what can be in your price range is right. going to look like, right. you know, and not only towns, but like, you know, some stuff like might have some really great structural stuff, but the cosmetic stuff isn't great. And then some stuff looks really great, but then there's all this big stuff underlying underneath. You know? Right. Um, and this is everything that will fall under your, your range and what it looks like. And so to be able to just like see it in person. Um, as much as possible was was super helpful. I mean, that makes yeah. a lot of sense, right? Because we all go into it with expectations of X, Y, and Z, mm-hmm. right? Like, oh yeah, this is going to be this and this. I'm going to get this, but you know, you really and you don't figure out exactly what you're going to get. But I think a really important part of that is is that you know when you get into a house, you start seeing stuff, maybe certain layouts and things of that nature, which you might like or you might not like, right? And and I. I, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, I, I, you need to put your feet through the threshold, right? And mm-hmm. and see some sizes of bedrooms and yep. you know, layouts and yards and things of that nature. Absolutely. Because right? you get to learn like what you'd be flexible on, mm-hmm. you know, like given certain house layouts and things like that. Or, you know, that was definitely one thing we were, you know, we had our must-haves and we had things that, you know, we were flexible on. But once you actually get in there, yeah. sometimes that can change so it's definitely right. good to the stuff know. pops up that you didn't even think about that you just you get walking through it and just having a conversation and something you know 
rears its ugly head or rears, or, or opposite. No you matter something. what, I don't want that. Yeah. 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 Or, or, or you saw something that I actually, I really like that and I, now I want that. Ooh, now now I'm, yes. Yeah. So definitely the, the looking and getting a feel for it is yeah. getting that realistic expectation. Right. Is helpful. So what was the hardest part? Like, I mean, you know, so we were two, two months, you said two, I think it had to be a searching of two months, right? Was, like, no, no. It was like from start to finish. I think we, I think mid-January? I reached out to you mid January and we closed on this on March 9th. Okay, that's pretty So it was, it was, it was yeah, that, I mean, talk about surprising. That was a surprising thing, yeah. too. Neither one of us expected it to happen that way. <laughs> yeah. 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 We're like, beginning of January, I'm like, all right, let's start the process. Like, I got recommended your name. I reached out. You emailed back. It was me. Oh, Jesus. Um, reached out within the hour. And I'm like, all right, well, we have a meeting with him. <laughs> Let's go. Um, and then this, you know, it, it all happened it, real quick. It, hardest part. What was the hardest part of the buying process? What was your hardest part? <laughs> <laughs> Settling you out. <laughs> Calming me down. Truthfully. Woosa. Oh, yeah. I mean, even when, even when the night that this came back to us, after we had just saved a whole percentage point off of our, our rate, which is real money. Which is real mm-hmm. money. Uh, then we get the call back from you. She hangs up. She comes up. I'm like, okay, well, like, you couldn't look at anything else without <laughs> coming back to this and saying, it's not that. And now here it is. Right. So let's put the offer in. We called you back, put the offer in. Okay, we hang up the phone. Should we be doing this? <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, we just spent two weeks looking at other houses, complaining about how this one will never come. Like this one's gone, and it just came back at our price. Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> With a better financing. Yeah. With a better money. What else do you want? <laughs> like, what do you mean? Should we be doing this? It's but definitely it. It's the hardest time. part. Your wife. It's <laughs> fair. Yeah. I don't what think that's going to change or many other. It's not going to change. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> no. But uh, no, I mean, if I, if that was the the most difficult thing of the process, then I could I can manage that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. that's a that's a and you have the rest like of the life to manage it. Exactly, as well. yeah. exactly. Like I said, it's a high high stress, high anxiety situation. So uh, didn't expect anything less. And so, but it was um, but it was great. I mean, you know, as stressful as that, you know, all is too. Like being able to say, yeah, we put the offer in and it was accepted, and then just being able to like from that point, then see like the decompression with both of us too. Right. It's just like, okay, well now it you know, it's, you know, now it's just in the process of, you know, finalizing that it's ours. Yeah. Like yeah. we have it, we're not looking at anything else anymore. Which probably took you seven days from here. I know, right. So, right. That was only took us seven days, yeah, which was, you know, yeah. And then that, that whole process, you know, again, was another surprising one where it's like we, you know, I think we, when we put the offer in the end of February, close on March 9th. And I was right. like, okay, well, here are the keys. Such a whirlwind, I know. Yeah. yeah. So was the hardest part managing him throughout the process? No, what would you say? the hardest part was, I, mm, I think the first hardest part was losing this the first time. Yeah. Like I was really, really bummed because yeah. I was like, this just feels like our house. Right. Like, and so to know that we had to pull back because we just wouldn't be able to compete with those other offers. Like that was really hard. Yeah. And then continuing to see other houses where I was just like, it's not it. Like, that's not it. Like I can't No, it's not it. I don't love it. That was, that was a real, that was a bummer. That yeah. was really hard. And then <laughs> even when we did get the house, I think the other hardest part for me was the home inspection because yes. it, we had never done it before. Yeah. No idea what to no expect. No matter what, I, I can send you videos on it. I can exactly. try to prepare you for it, but till you do it. <laughs> yeah. Literally had oh. no idea what to expect. Our inspector was awesome. Like we really did trust him, but like just with any home, everybody tells you like, there's always going to be little things to do. And that's what it was. It was a lot of little things yeah. and it just felt like a lot. Like that's what I was feeling. Like everybody was like, they're all little things. And I'm like, like a lot of them. And so that was kind of overwhelming. Like, oh no, like, the house you know, is falling apart. Oh. I just kept being like, I kept asking our inspector, I'm like, Matt, is it going to fall down? Is it going to fall down? He's like, it's not going to fall just down. It's not going to fall down. And he, I remember this specifically. Like, I was so overwhelmed. And we were in the basement. We would just come up, like, looked at the utility room. And he right. looked at me and he was just like, I see your face. 
let's take a break. Do you have a question? And I was like, I have a lot of questions, but I don't know where to start. He just like was so nice. And he's like, I get it. Like, this is a lot. Like, and I'm sure he saw it a lot because he didn't seem phased by me being overwhelmed. So I think once we got in here, like that was an overwhelming part. Because again, like you just literally can't you don't know what to expect you can't explain it and you're right. looking at this house that you just like are spending the most money you've ever spent on anything in yeah, your it's life it's not a small purchase and <laughs> hearing like all these little things that need to be fixed as a first time home buyer you're just kind of like where's the paper bag <laughs> yeah. okay like this is a lot but it looked up fine <laughs> <laughs> well first off i hate to be the bad bearer of of bad news for you is that uh those little things are going to continue to break and then like they're just gonna it, it's a never-ending process yeah oh, yeah <laughs> Welcome to home ownership. Yes. <laughs> the, joy, the, the joy of home ownership. And Lowe's and Home Depot become your favorite store. Absolutely. <laughs> there. Already, yeah. And maybe Bed Bath and Beyond if you have time. Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> um, so so that I mean I, I that is a tough part. And yeah. you know, I think that Matt is so good at that because your reaction there is actually a very normal one. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, it's a very normal mm-hmm. reaction because you know, those hey, home inspection. Did, when, did you read the home inspection report? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, not many, the same night because no, I was like, please okay. don't do this. Yeah, please no. do this tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. How many glasses of wine did it take in order to, like, it's, it's yeah. you know, they're comparing this house that was built in the 1950s to a house that needed to be built today into right. today's code. Right. So, it just it looks like a nightmare. Right. All right. And it feels like a nightmare. Yeah. But yeah, your house isn't going. Yeah. No. And Matt was great too because he gave us the full report, but then he gave us a breakdown of like, this is the big stuff right. we're in the first year you should you focus on. Yeah. So yeah. that felt that felt more comforting because I was like, okay, we have a starting point. Because right. it, like it is so much, you're just like, where do I begin? So he was really like, this is the meat and potatoes. Like, this is what you really should focus on in your first year. And then, like, after that, like, the little stuff just kind of, like, you happen, like, pick away and do at least, like, one or two things a year. So that felt better because it felt like we had at least, like, a map, like, a guide of, like, okay, this is the important things. This is what we should focus on and budget for. And then those other things, like, you know, in the second year or something like that, we can kind of focus on. So it was helpful to... Helpful to have that as a guide just to get us started. And we've already started like on some of that stuff, but at least we know what was most Im- like most important. And, and here's, a little bit. here's a, something that very few homeowners do, but, you know, just putting it in your head is two years, three years down the road. Give him a call. Have him come back out. You know, yeah. um, if he's not issuing a report um, and he's just doing it, it's like looking around. Right. Uh, or actually, anyway. Talk to him, but yeah. like have him come out and and redo the home inspection mm-hmm. in order to get you that new list of, of stuff that you need to start right. looking yeah. for and planning for. Not many people do it, but they should. Yeah, it's um, fair. Yeah, and just to see, like, okay, now what's our priorities? Right. Like, what's the priority stuff? Because relatively sure, money. If you can catch something before, like, right, you can save a lot of money if you're catching that problem before. Sure. You know, where yeah. the report where the inspection pays for itself, and that's right. absolutely that was the hardest part. How about the easiest part? Easiest and most enjoyable part of the process, what would that be? Or are they two different things? Um, sleeping out the first night. Yeah. Yep. I, was I slept pretty awesome. Pretty huh? pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> so so yeah. You no, know, it was it was nice to just be like, all right, that whole you know, you know, we have plenty of stuff to do and all all of that, but the whole mm-hmm. process is done. Really so rewarding. It's ours. It's like you know. We're moved in, like our bed's in here. It's a freaking mess because we have boxes everywhere, but we're... It's yours. Yeah. It's our yeah. mess. <laughs> it's our mess. <laughs> it's our mess now. <laughs> exactly. I'd say the easiest part was saying yes to this house. Like yeah. When they people would say, like, when you know, you know, and you're just like... Kind of like okay. saying yes to the dress. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like, when you know, when you know... Which we did within the <laughs> four months of each other. Yeah. So, it like, it... it when you knew, you knew. And I was like, yeah, like, this is it. Like, I know I feel confident. Like, and when we put the offer in the first time, like that was an easy part. Cause I felt when you know, you know, yeah. Like yep. I didn't have that reaction or feeling to like any other yeah. house. So I think that was maybe the easiest and the most enjoyable for me was closing day like yeah. that. I was on like an adrenaline, like that felt got so good. Yeah. And we signed the papers and it was just like, 
it's hap- like it's happened like and then we got the email from the attorney's assistant she's like we're on file we're yeah. on record like it's official and that was really really exciting yeah. i mean obviously mm-hmm. like moving in too but that was that made it feel so real right and that was really special and fun that's mm-hmm. awesome and we got to go out and celebrate yep. that night together yep well it's kind of the next question i have kind of relates to that so what would you guys say because to me owning a home is so many things right like now for me it's it's, it's funny because when kelly and i bought our first house right mm-hmm. it was just thought she was eight months pregnant nine months pregnant but um you know, we moved in and it was just us. And so now I look at my home, right? And it's the kid, it's the house where I brought my two kids to my third kid home mm-hmm. too, right? Mm-hmm. Like it's, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's not the biggest house in the world, right? But it's, it's, it's my castle, it's right? Home, and, and yeah. So I know what my home means to me. So, I mean, what is it, what is it kind of meaning to you guys? I mean, I mean, this is as a newly married couple, like this is our beginning, like this is mm-hmm. our, like, you know, we're starting our life here right. like it's where we see like hosting our friends and family like for summer barbecues and like starting our own family one day mm-hmm. and finally being able to like settle like we've definitely moved a bit and you know it's hard to feel settled in a place that's not really your own right. so being able to make it something that works for us it just it means like like we're home like mm-hmm. you know we can finally like be and that's really nice and start our own family one day and have enough room to grow and it's just yeah yeah i mean <laughs> i right along the same lines i mean just being able to sit, like call it ours and you know be here have that stability here of like mm-hmm. we're not we're definitely not moving for a long time <laughs> Go um, anywhere. Um, but it you know t- to be able to you know especially like to have something like this show like the rewards of everything that we had planned right and to have it come through and say like all right we're very very happy with what we have done leading up to this point and then not only that like we're being now we're being rewarded for it like we got the house that we wanted um you know it has everything and then some that we want for the next 10 plus years or you know however long you know that may be that we're here but there's so much um that we can build from it that just it's just like okay well, this some is great yeah. uh, great fruit to your labor yeah, yeah i mean yeah. the the process from like starting in january to closing on the house was really short but this was really like years in the making yeah. like we left our apartment in 2020 and moved into my parents house to save money we switched our jobs right you know a year ago yeah, to you know two huge career changes oh. to be a little bit more financially stable like a lot a lot more like over the years went into this so to have this as the final reward and like and i will say like this is not what i was expecting for our first home like I, I, this is beyond what i had anticipated would be that's awesome our first home so to know like we did all that and at times it was challenging like we literally both changed our careers kind of at the same time yeah. and living in somebody else's home that's not yours right. like for a couple of years too like there were challenging parts but to know like it led us here to this it, it definitely is rewarding yeah well there's one i'm thankful for you guys sitting down with me number two i'm extremely thankful for you guys you know, choosing to work with me. I, there's a lot of options out there. There's a lot of choices and that's never lost on me. So for the fact that you guys chose me, it always means a lot. Um, you guys were absolutely unbelievably fabulous to work with. I can tell you that. Um, you know, she doesn't seem like a really big fan of me, but we're going to work on it. We're going to work on it. She, she settled pretty quick. Yeah, yeah so, she did. Um, I'm just really happy for you. I'm really Thank excited you. for you. It was a fun journey. And, Absolutely. Uh, you know, we're always here for you. So Awesome. Okay. Thank you. Well, we couldn't have couldn't have picked better. And like no. I said, from the second we sat down with you, we were just like, yep, this feels good. And you actually took time to get to know us and yep. ask us questions about ourselves and our life. And it never, I never Whether felt. Whether we wanted to hear it or not. Yeah. <laughs> But we not ne- we never felt like a bother. Like you you always responded to us. Like you were out with us as much as you could on showings and as first time buyers. Like we've really appreciated that. And mm-hmm. I think you did such a fabulous job making us 
feel special. Like at times, like I would like forget that you have other clients. Probably you so. made us feel very yeah. like it was a very personalized experience and and nice. And I appreciate that because it Absolutely. it was never felt like we were like left kind of in the dust. So that was really nice. Well, that uh, that means a lot as well because I do work really hard to. That be the experience, right? And, mm-hmm. and so that means a lot. And like I said, it's easy when you're when you're working with good people. And, um, I'm lucky enough where I can be choosy for who <laughs> yeah. I work with. So, so but um, okay. thank you. You're I really welcome. appreciate it. Of course, thank you.